Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog with Mrs. Y is fly. I am Ashley and I just like to say thank you for tuning in and today I'm going to share a little bit um, of a tip I learned about bulletin board making. Now if you can see behind me I'm in my classroom and it's almost done. Oh slowly. Uh, this huge bulletin board well one is a world map which is a tapestry that I found at um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It's really, really pretty. I'll show you up close. But uh, the other big blank bulletin board is going to be for my competencies or as most people know them by is your common core standards for uh, high school English. So in the world of competency in high school ELA, we have five. Reading, writing, speaking and listening, research, and mechanics and conventions. So I wanted to display those somehow, right? But as you can see, that bulletin board is freaking huge. There is no way that kids were going to be able to read anything that I print just on like an eight and a half by 11 sheet. They would never see it from across the room. And you can see there's computers all in front of it. So it's not like they can even get really close up to the bulletin board. So I knew I had to print it huge. Well, how the heck do you do that? Lo and behold, I figured it out. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to flip around to the screen and walk you through step by step. It's very, very easy, I promise. You can print any size, anything at home from your home printer for free. Yes, 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 yes. So, three things you're going to need. Number one, home printer with ink in it. I don't know if that counts as another one. You need ink. Uh, second, you need... What do you mean? Second. Second, you're going to need a PowerPoint or Word, or I'm sure you could use Google Docs, anything like that. The example I'm going to show is with PowerPoint. And then you also need Adobe Reader or something that reads and creates PDF files. All right, so here we go. Let me see if I can switch this around. All right, everybody. So as I said in the intro, three things you're going to need. PowerPoint. Adobe Reader, and a printer. Okay, so when you open PowerPoint, you have this lovely slide, right? So I just go in and I delete one of these text boxes and I make this first one pretty much as big as you can get it on the slide. Okay, and then type in whatever you want for your bulletin board. You can also use this for images. But uh, in my case, uh, I was all text based. And then I'm going to find the font that I love, which is called KG A Little Swag. And it makes these awesome little flag guys. Oh, I love it. Okay. So this is how I did mine. So I wrote out competencies, which you can see is a longer word, but if I only printed it eight and a half by 11, as you can see, it would be way too small on that gigantic bulletin board. So it, it's not even worth my effort and my ink really in printing. So here's how you're going to make it bigger. So from here, and then you can write whatever you want, obviously you can write, you know, student work or um, objectives, standards, you know, whatever you're, you're thinking, go to save as, and I save everything on my desktop because then I can find it easier. And then you can title it whatever you want. So I'm just going to sample. Yeah. Isn't it funny that you can never type or write when people are watching? It's true. So instead of saving as a PowerPoint presentation, you want to click on that and you want to select PDF. So when you select PDF, you have some options. I always click on open file after publishing because it just saves you a step on having to reopen the file. And then I just leave standard publishing online or for and printing. It's fine. And then you hit save. And like I said, because I have it programmed or I clicked on that option to open up right away, it opens up. So that saves you a step. So now you have this lovely PDF, right? So then you want to go up in Adobe Reader to print. And you'll want to select your home printer. And usually what comes up, you have all these options, right? Fit, actual size, custom scale. Da, da 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 print both sides, all this stuff, right? Well, if you went here to custom scale, you can see you're you're losing pieces, right? And that's not good. Nobody wants that. So your magic button here is called poster. 
You're going to want to click on that. Okay. And then you're going to see that your word is spaced out over two pieces of paper, and that's indicated by this dashed line split right here. And you can see it says 22 by 8.5 inches. That's pretty big, right? It's definitely bigger than 8.5 by 11, which makes sense because this is in landscape, so it's just two pieces of paper, you know, together. But that's in 100%. So if you go over here to tile scale and you go up, say we'll just go 150. When you type in a number, do not hit enter because it will print. Don't do that. You've made that mistake. Go over here to overlap and just click in it and you're safe. Okay. And then you'll get a good preview on what you're actually going to print. So if you go up to 150, you can see you go 22 by 17. And now it's on four pieces of paper, right? As you can tell. But you're really only on two pieces of paper because these two are blank. Make sense? So definitely bigger. And now 22 inches, you're almost spanning 22 whole inches across the piece of paper. Again, a lot bigger than just eight and a half by 11, right? So yeah, you're going to be, you know, half of it will be on one piece of paper, half will be on the other. So you are going to have to do a little cutting and, you know, stitching together. But I don't think that's the end of the world, considering most of us laminate everything anyway that we put on a bulletin board. So you got to use a little tape and, you know, a little bit of effort. It's no big deal to me. So let's go crazy. Let's go 175. Remember, don't click. Don't hit enter. Okay, now we're at 33 by 17. And we're on three pieces of paper. <laughs> right? Three pieces of paper. <laughs> Like the count from Sesame Street, right? Um, so 33 by 17. And you can do this with images. You can do this with words. You can go crazy and go up to like 300%. Oh, boy. So now you're on four pieces of, well, eight pieces of paper, top and bottom. And you'd have a little bit more stitching together to do. But just depends what you're trying to do. And, like, I don't mind doing that because I laminate it anyway. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, so to review, you go into PowerPoint, make a slide. I don't want to go into PowerPoint because I think it'll stop recording me. Uh, open it, save it as PDF, open it into Adobe Reader, print, poster, change your tile size. You can change your orientation as well if you'd like, it doesn't matter. And then hit print and you're good to go. Okay, so let me make another uh, little snippet here, and I'll show you what my competency flag header looks like. Yay! All right, so while that video little snippet is saving from Screencast-O-Matic, I figured I'd jump on my GoPro and just speed things up a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys what I printed with that method. Here it is. It is my competencies. Look at the beauty. That is a big header for a bulletin board. And that is going to go over there on that huge bulletin board. It is the perfect size. And so all I used to get that done was my little... Um, Fiskars paper cutter, tape, and you can see it's not super pretty up close. It's a little Frankensteined, a little Frankened, but from far away, I mean, even if you step back just a little bit, it's going to be great, right? Competency board. Awesome. So, I hope that helped you guys out. Remember, just save as PDF from a PowerPoint, and you can print in poster size as big as you want. Hope that helps, and if you are new to my channel, Mrs. Wise Fly, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like as well. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for watching, and I'm going to be filming a classroom tour here in a couple minutes, so stay tuned for that. Bye, everybody.